Now let's correct some misinformation here, shall we? They are students. They have college degrees. That's wrong. No, they're not insane. And they attack creationists who think they know science better than real scientists do. So who is Nephilim free? It's an American reality denialist, aka young earth creationist, a self-proclaimed non-denominational fundamentalist Christian, believes in UFOs and Satan despite a distinct lack of any evidence whatsoever. He thinks a false dichotomy among other fallacies is a valid argument, has no apparent scientific qualifications, yet he feels qualified to criticise science itself. As fallacious arguments for a biblical history, is a massive fan of the ad hominem, the insult, the put-down and censorship, and does not agree with the practice of providing sources to back up his claims. What is the age of the Earth? 4.5 billion years. When did the creation actually occur? 4.5 billion years ago. And of course, we're going to go to the Bible. Let's not use the lead-lead isochron dating or the various independently verified radiometric datings. Let's instead use the scientific book that states pi is equal to 3. Let's draw your attention to these superscript numerals that are placed on these slides. Guess what these link to? References! Yes, the extant donors provide references, and so do I. Radiometric dating? <laughs> everybody knows that stuff is flawed, big time. Yeah, everybody. Except for the scientists who actually utilize the tools in the correct fashion. Based on assumptions as well. Now, as for pi in the Bible, I'm not going to go into the details. You can see the math on the screen. You certainly can. There's just one problem. It's a mess. Let's sort it out, shall we? And he made the sea cast of bronze ten cubits from one brim to the other. It was completely round. Its height was five cubits, and a line of thirty cubits measured its circumference. To find the circumference of a completely round object is simple. Multiply the diameter of 10 cubits by pi. You should get 31.415926, etc. Not 30. 30 divided by 10 is 3. You know, you need to lay off these uh, atheist slash evolutionist websites. I was wondering when this would start. <laughs> they band together, I guess. And our creationist here has just played the evil evolutionist conspiracy card. But <laughs> they're filling your head full of crap. That was frankly childish. Now about your assumption that the age of the earth is billions of years. If the extant dodos have made any assumptions at all, they have done so based on the available evidence from a variety of scientific disciplines. Note here that the creationists did not refute radiometric dating methods as of yet. Uh, you know, when we take all the historical information and the cultural information and then we compare that with scientific information it all verifies the Bible. Care to provide a source for your claim? Not to mention that this is also completely absurd as we'll see shortly. By the way, what's this evidence for? The creation, the Noatian flood, the Tower of Babel. The flood is a myth with many difficulties requiring miracles. Miracles are magic, they are not science. Adam and Eve and the Tower are myths. Seriously, a man magicked up from dust? A woman magically poofed into existence from one of his ribs? Now, people building a tower to reach heaven is one thing, but God making them speak different languages because of it? The creationist, your note, again, provides no evidence. Hmm. All those things. Supported by science? <laughs> what do you know? More than a creationist, it would seem. So I guess that means the Bible's right after all, isn't it? No, actually, it doesn't. The Earth is only 4.5 billion years old. Six or maybe six and a half thousand years old. Wrong. Gosh. What happened to your billions of years? Oh, 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 I forgot. Assumption. That was an appeal to ridicule based on the last set of creationist lies. Yeah, isometric radiometric dating. Oh, you bloody moron, that's isochron dating, not isometric. It was about 20 billion years ago. It was 13.7. Evolutionists do not say anything about the age of the Earth. Evolutionists do not say anything about the age of the Earth. That was completely juvenile, and it lasted for more than two and a half minutes. The rest has been cut, and the original clip has been restored for context. 
Now, by comparison, looking at two timelines, one of what the Bible says, one of what uh, evolutionists say. Evolutionists do not say anything about the age of the Earth. Evolutionists talk about the change in allelic frequency in populations caused by natural selection and genetic drift. You know, evolution. However, rational people say the Earth is 4.5 billion years old. And evolutionists are a pretty rational lot, so we'll forgive the error. But only because you're wearing a lab coat. Now let me give you a little suggestion. When God reveals a truth in his word, he reveals it many, many times from different angles in different ways to confirm the truth of it. Except where those angles differ, like they do in the conflicting genealogies of Joseph, as recounted in Matthew chapter 1 verse 1 and Luke chapter 3 verse 23. Oh dear, more stink. Wow, did you come up with that one all by yourself, Mr. Creationist? You just don't have the correct information. Ah, uh, standard apologetics drivel. Here's a response. And I guarantee that the extant dodos have already looked at what you claim here. They're just not stupid enough to fall for it. There is no conflict. No, of course not. Of course, you get all your information from amateur evolutionists who put forth one stinker or another and... That was a pathetic appeal to ridicule. None of them have the right information. Ah, this was to be expected. The reality denialist is now claiming he has access to information that sane people do not. The truth is that we were all well aware of this information he seeks to claim we don't know anything about. It's apologetics drivel. From the creation until Christ was born. Why settle for a 6.25% margin of error? You can just make up better numbers. Psst, 53.3 years per generation will get it dead on. The length of a human generation is not precise. The bloody obvious. Never has been throughout the history of the world, still not today. But maybe when you figure out how long that generation is, to the very month, hour, and minute, you should just let us know. That was a blatant appeal to ridicule. It also does nothing to refute their main point. All our reality denialist is now doing is splitting hairs on some frankly minor point of interest. By the way, that self-written slide of the creationist is incorrect. And I'm not talking about the obvious spelling errors either. Big bang, a big explosion. It was a rapid expansion of space-time. Which is an explosion, just as Mr. Pendleton stated. Actually, no. Allow me to correct this blatant misrepresentation. The Big Bang was an expansion of space and time, just as the extant dodos have stated, Mr. Creationist. It was not an explosion within space and time, and size is of no relevance. Your straw man has hereby been rejected. Let's get this straight. Life started on Earth somewhere between 4.4 billion years ago, after liquid water formed, and 2.7 billion years ago, the date of the earliest evidence of life. Um, none. Care to back up that claim, Mr. Creationist? The Earth doesn't just suddenly cease being 4.5 billion years old just because you assert that this is not the case. So your preconceived notion of when life began on this planet is the result of brainwashing? That was an instance of psychological projection. Their preconceived notion is actually the result of evidence. On the other hand, your preconceived notion that the Earth was suddenly and magically poofed into existence 6,000 to 6,500 years ago is the result of religious brainwashing. And creationists wonder why we laugh at them. By evolutionist scientists who tell you that these absurd and completely flawed radiometric dating processes... That was a repeat assertion, and again it was made without providing any evidence which are not capable of telling us how much of an element existed on the Earth at the beginning of its creation, which we, we have no way of knowing. The creationist has evidently not heard of nuclear synthesis and the fact that scientists use nuclear reactors to synthesize the very elements that are used to measure decay rates. In other words, they've extensively tested and verified the accuracy of various radiometric dating techniques. What the creationist has told you is an outright lie.